What is going on everyone? My name is Leo and today I'm going to be showing you my sneaker collection. So I've been collecting for about a year now. Um, let's see, I would have to say my favorite brand is Adidas right now. I have shoes from both brands, well, both big brands, Nike and Adidas. I don't have any Jordans because I I personally don't really fuck with Jordans too much. Um, that's just my personal preference. So leave a comment down below. Tell me what your favorite sneaker of mine is. Uh, yeah, let's get started. All right, so to start us off, I'm going to start with my Nike Roche. Roshi, however you like to call it. Um, it has a floral pattern on it really cool. I've had this pair actually the longest out of all the pairs that I'm about to show you today. Um, I've had this since high school and I'm a junior in college now. So this is my my ride or die OG first pair. <laughs> uh, staying on the subject of Nike, I have the Nike Mercurial Flyknit. Uh, this is a really cool shoe because it is a hybrid of street and sport. Um, it is based off of the Nike Mercurial soccer cleat um, and they essentially transformed it into a sneaker with the, uh, I don't know what this is, like the old, kind of older Nike free sole. Um, yeah, this is a really cool shoe. It's, you can wear it with like fancy stuff. You can pull it off. <laughs> Rounding off my Nike collection, I my this is my latest Nike pickup, the Nike Vapor Max, in a dark gray, kind of reflective swoosh color. Um, I don't know the exact colorway name, but this is definitely the coolest uh, colorway that they had out at the time. The 2.0s are starting to come out shortly. However, I do believe that this colorway is, and just this model in general, is better than the 2.0 and most other colorways of the Vapor Max. All right, so that does it for Nike. I know it's only three sneakers, um, but yeah, let's get to Adidas. Starting off with Adidas, I have the Adidas Alpha Bounce in what I like to call the money green colorway. Um, you could probably guess why I like to call it the money green colorway. It looks like money. Cash money, baby, let's go. Next up for Adidas, I have the EQT AVD or ADV, ADV, um, the uh, pride colorway. I chose this colorway because I was indecisive on what color I wanted for the uh, plastic strap here in the back and I went with this colorway because it's a basic upper and um, has lots of colors here on this plastic strap. Um, as you can tell, I wear these a lot, they're kind of dirty. Um, they're kind of like my dailies because they're comfortable and they go well with just about any pair of pants that you could throw on. Next up, I have the Aniki Boost in the green gum colorway. Um, I really like these because they're my favorite shade of green and the gum bottom is super cool, especially with the Boost and kind of like the older looking three stripes. I, I think this shoe is really, really cool and classic looking almost. Continuing on with Adidas, I have the NMD R1 dark, um, what would you say, maybe like glitch camo, red little pull tab there. This is my first pair of NMDs. Um, so you can tell the sole is starting to wear away. Um, yeah, these are another daily pair. 
Uh, you can wear them with just about anything. They look filthy with, with everything. Uh, they're a great lifestyle sneaker just for like everyday stuff. Continuing with the NMDs, I have this NMD Prime Knit colorway. I don't exactly remember the name of this colorway. However, I do remember that it was designed by a Japanese artist. Came out in black and white. This is the black with the black blocks here. Um, the white colorway looks exactly like this. Just switch everything you see here that's black is white and that's white is black except for the boost sole that is white on both models. Uh, yeah, this is a great shoe. It looks great. Continuing with my NMDs, I have an NMD R2. Um, when I bought them, it said they were prime knit. However, it's, it's prime knit upper here, um, but it's not a prime knit cuff like the R1s. However, these R2s are definitely the most comfortable NMD that you could probably get. Um, I just think the R2s in general are a lot comfier than the R1s because there's more support here in the heel and yeah they look great. Continuing on actually my last pair of NMDs I just picked these ones up the green glitch camo with pink and green block um, I've yet to wear these these are essentially fresh out of the box um, yeah, I just picked these up recently because they are filthy and I've wanted this colorway for a long time since it came out and um, they recently went on sale, so I copped them. Alright, next up I have the EQT 9117 in a gray colorway. Um, pretty much same deal with these as with the last NMDs I showed you. I've wanted a pair of these for a while and around Christmas time they went on sale so I copped a pair. Um, these are super duper comfortable. Um, if you like boost in your shoe I'd recommend getting a pair of these because it is definitely the most boosty shoe or at least that I have but as far as I know it's the most boosty shoe that Adidas makes. Um, it's really comfortable. It's like it's literally like walking on clouds. Yeah. Next up, we have a Cageless Ultra Boost in a cool gray colorway with blue and orange accents, as you can see detailed here on the aglets. Um, it's kind of spread throughout the shoe. The Ultra Boost is a great shoe all around. Um, I love it. Super cool. Super stylish. Super comfortable. Um, I personally don't run like for fun or for health, <laughs> but um, these are made for running. However, I don't know anybody who legitimately runs in these, um, but they feel great for like lifestyle and just like everyday type things, type situations, you know. Next up, we have another cageless ultra boost. Um, this is the dark burgundy colorway. I've had these ones from the start of my collecting days. Uh, this is really what kind of kicked it off this and the first NMD that I showed. Um, yeah, these are sick. Super cool colorway. Um, I am the only person that I've seen who owns this colorway in the cageless. I've seen a few caged Ultra Boost in this colorway, um, but no cageless, which is why I love this pair so much. It's because one of a kind almost. <laughs> All right, lastly, last but not least, this is um, the most expensive pair of shoes that I have so far. Um, I've yet to wear them. This is the Ultra Boost Ace 16 uh, Prime Knit. This is another, oh well first of all, let's just take note at the lacelessness here. Um, no laces. 
I've put them on. I haven't worn them outside the house yet because uh, the weather hasn't been good enough to wear these, in my opinion. Um, but let's see. Yeah, I, uh, this is another hybrid of sport and street. We have the Ultra Boost sole here and the Ultra Boost heel cup. Um, but this is kind of based off of the Ace 16 and 17 cleat uh, for soccer. That's why I love this shoe so much is because it's like a hybrid of two of my favorite things, Ultra Boost and football, or as most of you guys call soccer. Um, yeah, I just love this shoe so much. I mean, even though I haven't worn these out yet, I definitely will. I'm planning on it. Um, I'm just waiting till a sunny day with no moisture around. So probably uh, coming up, you'll see these outside the box and uh, on my feet. All right, guys, that concludes my sneaker review of my collection. Tune in next time. Pop that like button if you want to see more. Subscribe if you want to see more. Share if you want your friends to see this. Yeah, peace out. I don't want you monkey mouth motherfucker sitting in my throne again. Hey, hey, nigga, what's happening? Nigga,